from Andy Warhol's first New York City lease to the letters that stood atop the old Yankee Stadium, a whole slew of memorabilia from the city that never sleeps is going on sale at Sotheby's. And here to talk to us about the New York sale is Sotheby's Senior Vice President, Maria Kelly. Maria, thanks so much for talking to us today. You're welcome. What is the criteria that you use to decide what items would go into this sale? So we went after pieces that were iconic of New York. You had to look at them and know that this was a New York piece. It had to have story or something that related to New York City that any New Yorker looking at it would feel that this is right for this sale. And what could be more New York than these letters that were on top of the old Yankee Stadium? Are they all on sale? They're all on sale, all 13, the Yankee Stadium letters. and. All functioning, all lit up, and pretty exciting. And what are they expected to bring? We're hoping 300 to 600,000. Exciting, and there's more baseball memorabilia as well. Yes. The Mets cart, tell yes. us a little bit about that. That's very exciting. It's a little uh, golf cart that used to be driven onto the stadium with the players in it. This Mets bullpen cart is an example of Major League Baseball marketing from the 60s at its best. Seen intermittently at Shea Stadium for over 20 years, it's still fully functional. You also have jewelry and artwork. Yes. Tell us about Frank Sinatra's painting, and would we even be talking about it if it had not been painted by Frank Sinatra? Well, we wouldn't have taken it in the sale if it hadn't been painted by Frank Sinatra. And to be honest, uh, when my colleague contacted me about a painting by Frank Sinatra, I was like, well, <laughs> let's see what it looks like. And I have to say, I was very impressed to see what it, what it was because it's a really nice painting. And tell us about the highest priced item in the sale, the bronze cast of the Statue of Liberty. So yes, that's a pretty exceptional piece because it's actually cast from the original plaster that uh, Bertoldi made for the statue that's here in New York. We're, we're looking forward to be very, very successful with it. And there's even things like jewelry in the sale. What makes a piece of jewelry iconically New York? So we approached this uh, thinking, what would a, a, a lady from New York put in our jewelry box? There is a piece that's very New York-y, which is this bracelet that reminds you of the uh, Chrysler building because really what New York City woman couldn't use a Chrysler cuff. This is like armor for the mean streets of New York. So tell us uh, how challenging is a multi-departmental sale like this where you have photographs, artwork, jewelry, the rest of it. So we're not just opening it up for any photographs or any pieces. So that was a bit more challenging. I think it was more fun also. And in the end, I think it all came together really nicely. It just fits together. It, so it makes sense. Can, can we expect to see more themed sales in the future? Yes, I think so. I think, you know, we try and be a bit more creative. We have, uh, we have in the next few weeks, we're going to have the designer show house sale, which is exactly that sort of thing, but with furniture and decorative arts. So, so there's more to come, definitely.